Today at Coyote Classics, uh, we're putting up for sale this beautiful 1969 Chevy Camaro, done in a very nice royal plum metallic with uh, white Z28 stripes. It's got the Super Sport emblems on it, 350. It's riding on a very nice set of American Racing uh, Torque Thrust rims, four wheel disc brakes, excellent rubber all the way around. The tires are in great shape and uh, just a fantastic looking turnkey driver. Uh, the paint on this, uh, the Royal Plum paint on this car is probably 20, 25 years old. So it does have a lot of little paint imperfections, couple chips, stuff like that. I'll do my best to point out most of that, but the car in general as a whole is just a fantastic looking muscle car. Now what's really cool about this car, it's got the four wheel disc brakes and their power. It's got power steering. Uh, it's powered by uh, what the previous owner told me was a 1986 tuned port injected Corvette engine. It does have headers with dual exhaust. Great running engine. As far as our engine compartment goes, uh, the bottom side of the hood's all painted black. It does have the cowl hood. Inner fenders look great. Um, as we look at the inside of the fenders, I mean, they're all painted uh, body color as well. They did a nice job there. Uh, the firewall's all painted black, looks great. Still has its factory body tag. Uh, the factory paint on this car was 52-52 with trim 7-11. Again, the inner fenders all look really nice. This is a really cool, uh, I guess you'd call it kind of a pro street Camaro. Um, absolutely fantastic uh, resto mod style car. The nice thing with this fuel injection engine, four wheel disc brakes, I mean this car handles down the road fantastic. Um, I drove it when it first came in our dealership and the front suspension is fantastic. Drive this thing with one finger down the road, it goes down the road excellent. If you go to our home website, coyoteclassics.com, you're gonna see just how solid the uh, trunk floor and the floors and frame rails and everything are on this 69 Camaro. It's just a super solid car underneath as well. So they started with a, a very good platform on this uh, older restoration. Our gaps are really nice on the hood from front to back and side to side. Uh, the hood lines up absolutely beautifully. Uh, the white stripes across this purple paint looks awesome. Uh, the bumpers front and rear are both original. They both look nice and straight. Uh, they do have, if you look close though, I mean they've got a, little, a lot of little scarring and stuff in it. The grill looks to be in great shape. If you look up and down the sides of the Camaro, it's a super nice straight car. The wheels really have uh, set it off. It's got a great stance. When we got the car in, we uh, run it through the detail shop, gave it a nice polish and a nice buff. The sun's gonna peek out just for a little bit here, so I wanna make sure I try to get the um, you're able to see the metallic. Uh, the purple's got a lot of metallic in it. It really looks great. As far as the windshield goes, the windshield looks like it's in good shape. It's got a few little, few little scratches in it, but I don't see any cracks or chips. As we go over here to the roof, roof is super straight, no uh, dings or anything like that in it. Um, it's got a little solvent pop in the paint just from being 20, 25 years old. There's some little tiny little little dimples in the paint right in this area here in the sail panel. But as we go through here, there's no uh, body filler cracks. There's no cracks at the top of the quarter, nothing like that. That all looks very nice and smooth. Top of the trunk lid looks good. It's got the rear spoiler. It's got the front spoiler. Uh, tail lights look great. Back bumper is nice and straight, but again, it's original. So it does have a few little scratches, stuff like that. The dual exhaust sounds great, comes out the back. Again, go to our website. This is a super solid Camaro. Uh, very nice underneath, very original. The rear balance, even when they painted that, that looks great. Gives you a good 
good idea how straight the car is. The body lines line up pretty good on it. Um, as far as the top of the quarter goes, no bubbles or blisters up here. Looks great. No major chips. Um, we have a lot of rock chips down here at the, behind the wheel. Tires stick out just a little bit, which uh, just gave us some uh, some kind of some gravel blasting back here. But very solid. Over the, this wheel well is really good. We do have some little bubbles right in here, just due to the age of the uh, restoration. Um, so it's showing a little wear right here. In front of the wheel and the quarter all looks good. Rocker panel looks good as well. The whole underneath of this car is all painted black, looks good. Our door gap looks really good on the back side of the door. You can see a reflection everywhere in it. Uh, no major chips in the door at all. There's two little, three little tiny little blisters right here in the bottom edge of the door. Lower fender is excellent, no bubbles or blisters. And when this car was done, guys, they did a great job on it. It's just got so many, you know, 20, 25 years of, uh, on the restoration and, and a lot of driving. So um, you're gonna have a few little issues over time. But as we look at these corners of the doors and stuff, they did a really nice job when they did the jams. They put the GM stickers back on it. Um, the paint's nice and shiny in the jams. Look at the corners of the door here. It's never had any body filler. Got a nice rocker molding on it, wheel well molding. This little trim molding right here is just needs to be crimped down a little better. Came loose for me a little bit ago. Um, as far as the, the purple and the jams though, there's no tape line here. I mean, they painted the car with the doors off. Rocker molding's good. You can see the car at one point looks like it was kind of a turquoise or a blue. You're going to see that uh, a few spots where the paint has chipped over the years. As far as our door panel goes, passenger side door panel is in excellent condition. Does not need any work done to that at all. The armrest and base are good. Door panel is good. Someone put some uh, nice Kenwood speakers in the door panels. Um, and the radio works. It's got a nice Alpine in it. As we go to the seats, I mean, he did a fantastic job having the seats recovered. So the seats are in fantastic shape. You don't have to do anything to these seats. Very nicely done. Seat backs are good. Carpet's good. As we go to the back seat, we have seat belts for three in the back. It's got six by nines in the back shelf. Very nice headliner. Again, the seats are nice and pliable. Um, they're not brittle at all. No rips or tears. Carpet shows probably 25 years, but uh, you know that shows some show somewhere, but still in good shape. It does have the retractable seat belts in the front. Um, here's our oil pressure gauge. It's running about 25 pounds of oil pressure after it's warmed up at uh, 170 for temperature. It's running nice and cool. Uh, battery is charging. It's got a really nice uh, Chevy steering wheel on it with a very nice tight steering. Uh, rear view mirror is nice and tight. Visors are nice. There's no holes in the headliner. Um, as of right now, guys, the dome light's not working. Inside the glove box, it's got a little power source here. Alpine CD player with the MP3 and stuff like that. All the instructions are there. Inside the glove box is good. Um, it does have the, uh, the air vents and the kick panels and they're in great shape. Here's our corner of the door. Uh, this is nice and solid too. If you look here, it's never had any body filler. It's got a little surface rust with a paint chip, but there's no body filler or any work done in that inside corner of those doors. The dash itself has got a little paint, uh, you know, something got on the paint here just a little bit in this area on the dash. Um, other than that, the rest of the paint on the dash is good. Um, just from the keys rubbing here, we have some little scratches on the steering column. The gas gauge works, speedometer works. Heater fan controls are all loose and free.
just gonna turn that off so I can hear if the heater fan works. Heater fan is not working. Door shut nice as far as the paint goes. Like I said, the sun's out now. Um, it's a great color, guys. I mean, this car gets a ton of attention. We brought it home in the trailer down from Kansas, and uh, we just had tons of thumbs up, tons of people stopping us at the gas stations and stuff. Um, it's just a fantastic looking car, a great color combination on a 1969 Camaro. Dual exhaust sounds great. We talked about the back end of the car. It all looks good. Uh, as we look up and down the driver's side, Top of the trunk lid fits nice and flush here all the way across the back. The stripes are laid out nicely. This rear sail area, same thing. If you look real close, you can see just some little, and that's not dirt specks, it's like a little solvent pop right in this area. Um, but no uh, body filler cracks, no issues there in that sail panel at all. We have just a little stress crack in the paint right here, very small. I don't see any bubbles or blisters in the lower quarters up here. Over the wheel well, we do have some bubbling, um, some little tiny blisters right in here, showing its age right from, right from here to there. Behind the rear wheel is excellent. Just some rock chips down there. Rocker panel is good. Corner of the doors, lower fender, all that stuff looks real good, guys. Around this mirror area, it's had some paint touch-ups right along in here. Like I said, the paint shows its age. I wouldn't repaint it. I wouldn't do anything to it besides drive it and enjoy it. If you want a perfect one, it's not perfect, but uh, I'll tell you what, this car has the look and it rides and drives awesome. Again, the GM stickers, um, all the stickers there. It looks really nice inside this uh, door jam area. It's missing the little uh, rubber bumper on the bottom, the top one's there. Corner of the door is perfect. Inside door panel looks really good, but it is missing this little Kenwood uh, speaker cover. Other than that, the door panel is in fantastic shape, even on the top, it's all nice. Uh, driver's side seat is excellent even on these cords where you go in, nothing's wore out, nothing's wore at all. Just in great shape. Um, the wiper switch works guys. Um, the other day we checked out, we got a new wiper motor coming for it, so the wipers will work. Uh, the wiper motor, we had a tap on it to get them to work. So gas gauge works, speedometer works. The uh, odometer shows 70,377 miles. got a nice Alpine CD player done very tastefully. Um, the wipers will work, the heater fan does not work, all the gauges work on it. It's got a B&M shifter. Like I said, this fuel injection is really nice. And the steering, guys, this is an awesome steering wheel. It's leather wrapped, it feels great. And the steering on this car is just phenomenal. I mean, it goes down the interstate, go down the highway, just straight as a string. We had some bumps right there, we'll see how these do, but the shocks felt great on it. Suspension feels excellent. Yeah, really nice suspension, four wheel disc brakes. Uh, this 86 Bat motor really gets with the program. Exhaust sounds great. As far as our power brakes, I mean, they stop on a dime. I mean, this thing stops awesome, steers awesome. This is definitely what I would classify with this motor tranny suspension. It's definitely a resto mod. And uh, for a resto mod, we're gonna price this at 30,000 bucks. It's got the look and it rides and drives awesome. Um, this 69 Camaro shouldn't be here very long. sit there and spin the tires all day long. Transmission
suspension shifts fantastic. Again, no hands on the wheel. It drives perfectly straight down the road. Um, this thing's got a lot of power. Like I said, you can smell the burnt rubber there. So. I wouldn't have let off the gas, I think we still would have been squealing tires. Front end is excellent. And the seats are comfortable. Absolutely no disappointments on how the 69 feels, rides, looks. I mean, this is an awesome car, guys.